So Truth or Dare is like the scariest game ever after Ouija. But and cause this you have cause you're always playing with that one person, you don't want to reveal that one secret. But this movie can't even get that scary. It can't even make that scary. And your turn's next. Dare me to choose which one of you to kill. No! Truth or Dare. So Truth or Dare is a stupid horror movie about this group of, I guess, high schoolers. They all go to, um, they all end up going to Mexico, and then they play Truth or Dare with this really creepy guy in this really creepy church. And then, after they play it, the game starts haunting them and stalking them, and then they have to play the game, and they have to do what the game says, or they die. It's as stupid as it sounds. But unlike Rampage, this movie does nothing with the stupidity, and it is just either boring or it was laughing. And you're probably wondering why did I even go and see why did I even see Truth or Dare? Like, first off, it's already left theaters. But it's at Redbox, and I was just like, alright, listen, there is a movie I've been trying to get at Redbox, I feel pretty, because I heard like positive and negative things, but I just I wanted to get a review out to you guys. So I went on to Redbox and they had Truth or Dare and I feel pretty, and I was like Come on! It's a horror movie about the game, Truth or Dare. It's gotta be good, right? And here's my... So here's the first thing. The first act of this movie was very boring. Then the second act of this movie, I found myself la I found myself smiling because of how dumb it was. Like, there were so many shots in this movie that looks like they were shot... You know the YouTube channel Ryan Higa? Well, a lot of the shots in this movie looked like they were filmed by him. He's a YouTuber. Essentially, most of the, a lot of the shots looked like they were filmed on YouTube. Also, it's one of those horror movies where it just doesn't do anything. Like, it takes itself so seriously and it's like so scary and you're just like... Hmm. Blumhouse is like the leader of horror films that is. It's like every once in a while another company would be like, we'll make a horror film, but Blumhouse owns Halloween, The Purge movies, and they made this peeping piece of crap. Now, a YouTuber that you guys probably don't know I ever have watched, and you guys may not even know about him, Austin Burke. He's a great YouTuber. I watch him a lot. But he says this is the worst movie of 2017, to 2018. And is it? I can see where he's going. Like, it's definitely a top fiver, and it might even be my, my, it might even be the worst. Like, when he said that, that... I'm the type of person who likes to watch bad movies, the reason why is because I heard this is the perfect bad movie for me. There's a hilariosity review on it. And this is the only movie in 2018 that I think deserves the hilariosity thing. Because I laughed a lot at how bad it was. Look, remember Transformers The Last Night? Really bad movie. I really hated Transformers Last Night. But the thing about that movie was it was very stupid, but took itself seriously. But this movie is just so stupid, so just obnoxious. I don't, I don't really know. I don't know how this movie could be good unless it was a comedy. It's so stupid. But it takes the decision of being really a serious and dark horror movie, even though we're freaking PG-13. Get into the big leagues with, if you want to get into the big leagues with it, you gotta be PG-13. No, you're not on ranks with A Quiet Place just because you came out a week later. A Quiet Place did something. It actually wasn't really that much of a horror movie. There were, like, little jumps. In fact, I jumped... This movie's supposed to be one of those more jump-scare horror movies. I jumped more in A Quiet Place than I did in this movie. That movie's a thriller, not even a horror movie. I jumped more during movies this year that weren't horror movies. Why? These are the two emotions I was thinking during the movie. Boredom, or oh my god, that is so bad, it is hilarious. And every character in this movie is so lazily written, they're just, they're just your main character, there's just nothing to them. It's also a really depressing movie. Like, I guess horror movies a lot of the time are depressing, but this movie has its de very depressing moments. In fact, the whole movie, when it isn't hilarious, it's depressing. Guys, in the end, Truth or Dare had the most ridiculous and stupid concept of the year. Rampage couldn't even hold the cancel to this movie, or Skyscraper. But, uh, and something about Skyscraper is that that movie 
was really stupid. But it tried, it, it was, and it took itself seriously. But this movie doesn't have the liberty of doing that. I did, I do think that Skyscraper took itself too seriously. But there were intense and fun moments in that movie. Here, it's such a stupid idea. It wouldn't work as a horror movie. It wouldn't work as, there's like no time where they try and make you laugh. But there are times where I laugh because of how bad it is. It's just it just is a f it just shows what bad things can what bad things can happen with movies. Horror movies are stupid, but not stupid enough like this. It's a stupid movie that does nothing with its stupid concept. I'm gonna give Truth or Dare a one. Truth or Dare. And when they actually did Truth or Dare, the whole face was just it was just CGI. I just could tell every time they did that Truth or Dare thing, it was just CGI. Alright, so what do you think Truth or Dare will be? Because if none of you guys saw it, well, if you did see it, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe. Christopher Robin review on Friday. Next week, the Wii Actor is Shark Week. We'll be reviewing some shark movies. Um, uh, every Jaws movie, basically. It's my kind of week! You get it? Because, look, read the name. Read the name of my channel. See you guys next time.